Today we're going on the C2C Trail, which is the Corvallis to the Sea Trail. It goes from the Willamette Valley in Oregon to Ona Beach on the Oregon coast. And we're actually starting in the middle of it near Harlan, Oregon on the Grant Creek Trail. We're just gonna take a little bit of a day hike and see what it's like out here. So far, it looks really beautiful. It's really strange today because uh, there's an inversion layer, so it's kind of foggy. It's really nice and cool and moist but there's a very acrid smell in the air as if there's smoke and which is counterintuitive. It doesn't seem like there should be a fire out here right now and I haven't heard of any, so it's very confusing to the senses. As a person who likes to get out and hike, no matter what the weather, I um, am always startled to re realize that it's hunting season when I get out here in the fall. There are definitely a lot of dudes with big trucks that are driving around really slowly looking for good places to shoot at animals. So I don't want to be one of those animals. Mike's telling me don't quack. Through my new job, I've become acquainted with the work of Kim Scott, who wrote a book called Radical Candor. <laughs> my poor partners had to listen to a lot of it this week. I'm really super intrigued by it because it's a lot about um, being direct and honest and authentic with people and keeping things really close to when an action has occurred that maybe bothered us or could affect their performance, um, but doing it from kindness. So really, really caring about the person and who they are, not wanting to hurt them or undermine them or disempower them, but actually to empower them with knowledge and information that is delivered in a really quick, concise, clear, and effective way close to when they may have done a behavior that isn't in their best interest so that they can move forward from that point. The other thing that, you know, something that's so important to me is respecting the inherent work, worth and dignity of every person. And, you know, that also comes with respecting and understanding that they can handle growth. Another thing I've been thinking about a lot this week is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We have some basic survival things at the bottom and then it starts to move up into, you know, sort of higher level things that you might think about if your basic needs are taken care of, like safety and security and that kind of thing. And then at the top, in the top triangle, there's self-esteem. Mike is telling me that the top of my pyramid actually is even bigger than self-esteem. It says self-actualization. So that's really what I'm talking about is how to embrace this place of like, not only I'm good enough and I'm worthy of things not being terrible or of, you know, not just basic survival, but I can make my dreams come true. I can be the best version of me. I can optimize my performance and my impact and my contribution to the world. Oh, that's what I'm really excited about. That's so exciting. All the other layers in the pyramid, everything is inwardly focused out of necessity. Only at the top of the pyramid, at self-actualization, can you then be in a healthy place to be outwardly and others focused. Mike was just commenting that a really cool thing about this hike, because it's 60 miles long, and we're just out here for the day for however long we want to hike is that he can just kind of set his his little you know fit person watch for the amount of time that we want to walk and we can just wander around out here and wherever we are when we're done with our time of walking we can turn around and go back what's so awesome about just being out in nature and in the woods, which I think is something that we lose track of in our lives and living in towns and cities and being really busy and having jobs and all that kind of thing is the essence of what it's like to just be.
in essence, it's what the forest brings out of you. It is this uncanny ability for nature to open us up and peel away the layers and let us feel and touch and understand our soul and express it in healthy ways. I love that. We're at the end of our little hike today. We did 2.7 miles. It was very beautiful. It has just a wonderful, cool, moist atmosphere out here. It was super comfortable. There are some people on their bikes who are doing uh, Corvallis to the Sea Trail, which is fun to see.